Hey, it's T.B. Waheed, and I am back with the next reading. Where it gets into talking about Caucasian skin. This is by Hiroshi Wagatsuma and the Social Perceptions of Skin Color in Japan. I am reading it exactly the way that the author wrote it. Not taking away from it or adding to anything that he said. And it goes as follows. Caucasians' skin tends to be rough in texture, full of wrinkles, spots, and speckles. If you look at the neck of an old Caucasian woman with furrows and bristles, It reminds you of that of a pig. When I try to visualize a Caucasian woman, she is associated in my mind with skin of rough texture and unsmooth surface. Pores of her skin may be larger than ours. Young women may have smoother skin, but older women have bad skin. A Eurasian child will be very attractive if it takes a Japanese parent's skin and a Caucasian parent's facial structure. But the result of an opposite combination could be disastrous. Now, this is from interviews of what Japanese people feel about Caucasian skin. This notion concerning a Eurasian child seems to be fairly widely held among Japanese. The idea that Caucasian skin is ugly is also expressed in the following passage taken from the work of a contemporary Japanese novelist. And it goes as follows. When a kissing couple was projected on a large screen in a close-up, Then the ugliness unique to Caucasian female skin was magnified. The freckles covering the woman's cheek and throat became clearly visible. On the fingers of a man caressing a woman, gold hairs were seen shining like an animal's bristles. Some informants who favored Japanese white skin, some informants who favored Japanese white skin, but not Caucasian, suggested that Caucasian skin is not white, but transparent. This may be completely unscientific, but I feel that when I look at the skin of a Japanese woman, I see the whiteness of her skin. When I observe Caucasian skin, what I see is the whiteness of the fat underneath the skin, not the whiteness of the skin itself. Therefore, Sometimes I see redness of blood under the transparent skin instead of white fat. Then it doesn't appear white but red. I have seen Caucasians closely only a few times, but my impression is that their skin is very thin, almost transparent, while our skin is thicker and more resilient. The Caucasian skin is something like the surface of a pork sausage, while the white skin of a Japanese resembles, resembles, excuse me, the outside of kamaboko, a white spongy fish cake. Some men and women commented on the general hairiness of Caucasians. American women do not shave their faces and leave facial hair untouched. This causes the Japanese some discomfort since they are accustomed to a hairless, smooth face. Japanese Japanese women customarily have their entire faces shaved except for the eyebrows. Some women felt that the whiteness of Caucasian men lowered their appearance of masculinity. Others disliked the hairiness of Caucasian men, which they thought suggested a certain animality. Japanese who have had little personal contact with Westerners often associate Caucasians 
with strange creatures, if not with animality. Caucasian actors and actresses they constantly see on movie screens and on television may be the subject of their admiration for manliness, handsome or beautiful features, or glamorous look, but they don't seem to belong to reality. Real Caucasians are felt to be basically discontinuous with the Japanese. As one informant said, when I think of actual Caucasians walking along the street, I feel that they are basically different beings from us. Certainly, they are humans, but I don't feel they are the same creatures as we are. There is, in, in my mind, a definite discontinuity between us and the Caucasians. Somehow they belong to a different world. Deep in my mind, it seems the Caucasians are somehow connected with something animal-like, especially when I think of a middle-aged Caucasian woman. The first thing which comes up to my mind is a large chunk of boneless ham. This kind of association may not be limited to me. As I recall now, once in an English class at school, our teacher explained the meaning of the word hog as a big pig. A boy in our class said loudly, Oh, I know what it is. It's like a foreign, meaning Caucasian, it's like a foreign woman. We all laughed and I felt we all agreed with the boy. For most of the Japanese, without much personal contact with Westerners, Skin is only one of several characteristics making up the image of a Caucasian. Other components of this image are the shape and color of eyes, hair, height, size, weight of the body, and also hairiness. Japanese feelings toward a Caucasian seem determined by all these factors. Many people interviewed in Japan talked of their difficulty in discussing their feelings toward Caucasian skin is different as differentiated from other Caucasian physical characteristics. An image of a Caucasian with white skin, deep set eyes, wavy hair of a color other than black, a tall, stout, hairy body, and large hands and feet seems to evoke in many Japanese an association with vitality, superior energy, strong sexuality, or animality and the feeling that the that Caucasians are basically discontinuous with Asians. Positive attitudes to a Caucasian skin center on the idea that Caucasian skin is, in actuality, whiter than the so-called white skin of the Japanese and, therefore, more attractive. Two college students in California who had dated only Caucasian boys said Caucasian white skin meant to them purity, advanced civilization, and spiritual cleanliness. They felt that even a white skinned Japanese that even white skinned Japanese men were not white enough to attract them. Although there is no basis upon which to generalize the fo the following report by a student who had a sexual relationship with a white woman may deserve some note. Perhaps I was a little drunk under an electric light, I saw her skin. It was so white that it was somehow incongruent with her nature. Such a pure whiteness in this girl of some questionable reputation. He associated the whiteness of a woman's skin with purity and chastity and felt white skin incongruent with the woman's promis promiscuous tendency. A Japanese hairdresser married to a Japanese-American disagreed with the notion that Caucasian skin is ugly. She said that Caucasian women tend to have larger facial furrows. These are more visible than smaller wrinkles, but otherwise their skin is no better or worse than ours, she added. However, after attending to several Caucasian customers in a row, when I turned to a Japanese lady, the change in color is very striking. She is yellow. It always comes to me as a kind of shock, this yellow color. Does it remind me of my own color? I don't know. I think I know I am yellow. Do I still want to forget it? Maybe. A sudden realization that Japanese skin color 
is darker when compared with the white skin of Caucasians has been the experience of several Japanese men and women in the United States. When I say, when I stay, stay among Caucasian friends for some time and another Japanese joins the group, I look at him, my fellow countryman, and he looks yellow or even black to me. This, in turn, makes me momentarily self-conscious. I mean, I feel myself different in the group. My daughter is very white among the Japanese. Looking at her face, I often say to myself how white she is. As a mother, I feel happy, but when I see her among Caucasian children in a nursery school, alas, my daughter is yellow indeed. Hmm. So that is the part where I added that um, I felt like that is the same way that you could change that around to what how black people feel when they are in a uh, environment where they are there's no other black person. So if you could just think about that for a minute. So, the next one, the next reading that I'll be doing is, I'll just give you a little bit of it, a little bit about it. It is interesting to note, the Japanese who have spent time in the United States acquired the idea that Japanese are yellow rather than brown skinned. Those we met in Japan, with only a few exceptions, hesitate or even refuse to describe their skin as yellow. They know that the Japanese belong to the yellow race, Oshoku Jinshu, the technical term for the mongoloid. But they cannot think of their skin as actually yellow, unless, as some remarked, a person comes down with jaundice. So that is... I'm getting into that, the next reading, more and more about the descriptions and how the Japanese feel about skin color, which should be very interesting. And I hope that you will take notes because as soon as I get through with this chapter, it will be, I will be moving on to the next chapter dealing with the uh, Indian. Um so I hope that you are enjoying this as much as I am, and um, I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday. The weather is nice in my neck of the woods. I hope it is for you as well this fall, and peace be unto you. Glad you're here. I am so glad that you are here. Please stay tuned to Black Living Room Talk for more conversations, information, and stories.